I wanted to do this DIY China cabinet makeover for a long time now. Uh, we bought it six months ago and it doesn't look bad right now, but it doesn't look good either. Welcome to Fabulous Workshop. Uh, as you see, I was alone, so I had to drag it myself to our workshop. It has a painted orange crackling finish on it right now. I doesn't really go with our decor and it will never be something that we're into. <laughs> with all the stripping, sanding, staining, it would have been horrible with the glass still on. So I just removed the cord around, around the glass and it was quite easy to remove. I didn't want to take the chance of mixing the cord arounds and trying to find the original position at the end. So I started uh, writing their position like uh, left side, upper left, <laughs> but turns out it's almost more <laughs> confusing this way. So I drew a graph with, well, not a graph, like a little drawing of the cabinet with numbers and numbered each piece. I use an old brush and an empty yogurt bottle for stripping. I used gloves later on, so I suggest that everyone uses gloves, glasses, but I was too excited to start, I guess, so no gloves right now. I waited 15 minutes for the stripper to melt the paint. I worked in small sections because you shouldn't let the stripper dry. If you do, it's not that bad, you just need to reapply stripper. Then came the satisfying part. Scraping the paint was very satisfying. Overall, it took me six days to refinish this glass cabinet and four days was only to bring it back to wood because I had to come back for multiple coats of stripper to remove all the paint layers. The first coat removed a lot of paint, but then it took two coats to remove some residue and the, uh, the varnish underneath. And in the cracks, I had this special tool. It's a hard shape scraper and it's perfect for those rounded edges, uh, the little cracks, and those little places. When most of the paint was removed, I wiped any still wet parts with a rug. Then I used steel wool to remove any residue left. I removed the door to be able to clean the hardware and also it makes it so much easier to strip both the door and the main cabinet. For the animal shaped foot, uh, the steel wool was the best tool because of the cracks and the round edges everywhere. For the hardware, they were painted, so I stripped them, then used steel wool to remove the paint. To bring them back to what they must have looked when they were <laughs> in their young days, I used this thing called Brasso. It's just a metal polisher, and it works like magic. I used a palm sander and 120 sandpaper to bring it down to bare wood first and then lightly sand it with 220. In the irregular shape parts, I just sand it by hand. I wiped the dust and started to stain with Jacobean wood stain. I really like this stain because it's quite dark but still neutral. It doesn't have that orange tint to it that I don't like. Okay, day four. <laughs> I just finished staining it and <laughs> I don't like the color and also my glove broke so I'll let it dry I'll see tomorrow what it looks like still not sure about the color so I might try a black wash so what are you doing? Oh, we'll see. 
We had a few cans of leftover dark paints, so I started experimenting on the underside of the shelves. I tried the charcoal that we used in our bathroom walls. Uh, by the way, if you haven't seen our bathroom makeover yet, I will link it in the description. And I love it so much. It's stunning. So you should definitely check it out. But I didn't like the color for the black wash. So I ended up using a uh, Seiko Paint Grand Piano. Uh, it's basically a pure black and it's just very dark and neutral. I didn't let it sit for too long. I applied it and wiped it off right away. And it, all it did is darken the stain, which was exactly what I wanted. The fun part was to assemble the hardware. When you think that all that work wasn't worth it and you should have just painted it, now is the time that really rewarded me. Yes! Finally, I waxed the china cabinet to keep a natural shine and it's not being used intensely, so I'm not too worried that it will get damaged. Otherwise, varnishing is the way to go, but I was not down for multiple coats again. <laughs> no thank you. I waited a bit for the wax to cure and then polished it. The glass had dry paint on it, so we scraped it and cleaned it, and just like that, it was ready to go back in. We ended up pre-drilling the quarter rounds and using small screws to put them back in place. I didn't want to use a hammer next to the original glass and also I just didn't have appropriate nails for it. We are so happy with the result. It definitely fits better in the room and looks so much better. Also, if you like this furniture refinishing video, please like this video. Subscribe also for more DIYs and makeovers. Let me know in the comment section when do you think this piece dates from? We suspect something like the 30s or the 40s because uh, it's definitely a mass-produced piece but it has that old-fashioned style to it but <laughs> maybe we're completely wrong it's from the 80s so but thanks for watching the video bye